Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing well. Massive day today, trip to the Thrift Thursday. Thanks very much for clicking on this video. It's going to be a huge one today. We've got four local op shops to dive into, and fingers crossed we can find some thrifted heat to sell on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you're here for the first time, I'm a full-time online reseller. I sell on eBay, I sell on Facebook Marketplace, and I have a whole heap of fun doing it. I also put out three new videos right here on YouTube every single week talking about it. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and give this video a like. One, to support the channel, but two, obviously, to show support for the thrift ahead because it's going to be a very big day. We're just around the corner. It's 8.30. I'm very excited to see what we can find the first op shop. Let's get into it. guys we have kicked things off with a really good start yet again first stop shop of the day we've really just set the tone for what is just going to be an epic episode i've just got a feeling about it i'm going to kick things off with this Fortnite board game now this is brand new sealed so you're always going to get a few more for it i'm going to say it's around 30 to 35 dollars I'll, I'll whack some comps up here like i always do but whenever you find it i'm look I'm, I'm a little bit off the board games but when you find them brand new you definitely pick them up because you're going to make a couple uh paid just four dollars for it um i've also found these as well the nike zoom pegasus 34 running shoes now these are men's shoes they are a size nine and a half as well which is only going to do me favors uh really good soles as well on the bottom they're almost in like new condition to be honest there's really nothing wrong with them and i'm going to shoot for the stars and go for 60 dollars free postage try and sell them for 50 bucks which i think i should be able to do because my shoe sales have been going fairly well at the moment and i think i can just slightly elevate what i'm selling my shoes for um hey a really good score on the books as well that i want to take you through i'll take you through a couple of them the first one that i'm going to kick you off with is this one here dark souls 2 this one was the collector's edition now i knew nothing of it it was just hardcover it looked like a wicked front and i thought well let's just grab it it's a collector's edition 90 dollar con on eBay for this book and it's in use condition which is what the $90 comp was selling for if it was new sealed it would have been worth $120 books guys amazing value can be had if you get the right ones speaking of the right ones I've also been able to find the Jackie Collins collection as well another book set I love collecting my book sets I think this one was going for around $30 to $35 for the set of six that I've got here um, and I've paid just five bucks for that book set so really good score there did grab a couple of Halo books as well I am kind of enjoying the Halo game um, paraphernalia out there at the moment. It just seems to sell really well across all areas. Um, so I grabbed a couple of books. Hey, this is an author that I've, I've comped and it shows me some good numbers. So I figured I'd show you guys. Uh, Robin Hobb is the author. If I can just hold it up properly. There it is there, Robin Hobb. So look, they're small paperback books, nothing flash about them, but they are a bit of a serious collector item on eBay. These three books were going for about $35 as well. So $10 a book, I've paid a dollar each. So I've paid just three bucks for these and I'm gonna be able to go and sell them for about $30 to $40 free postage. So a really good author to look out for, Robin Hobb. Uh, another good author to look out for that I've been able to few, uh, find a few books in is Rochelle Mead. Um, so here she is here, Rochelle Mead is the author. Now I've got four Rochelle Mead books here, all similar series books as well, which is good. Um, again, they are just paperback books, but they're the comps for four books for Rachel Mead or Rochelle Mead, uh, again, 30 to $40. So I've paid $4 for these, turned it into $35 to $40. If it was just one individual 
individual book, you just wouldn't make as much money as if you can find the same author in numerous number of books. So I've obviously got four here. I've got three of Robin Hobb. Um, that only just helps me. So when you're out looking for books, find the same author, bundle them all up and see if you can get them for around one or $2 each and you'll, you'll do pretty well. Um, so look, stack of books there. I've got the shoes. I also found some clothing as well. And I'll take you through. The first one that I've got for you guys is this one here. Now this is a Gold Coast Suns jersey. But what's good about it is it's player issued. It's number 46. You don't often get the number on the jersey. And this isn't just sort of a, a screen print over the top. This is actually, you know, originally made. So there's no um, sort of fakeness about it is the point that I'm trying to make here. Um, so there it is there, number 46 on the back. You got some NAB branding as well. This one's a size extra large, which is gonna be good. I've got to look into it when it's player worn Guernseys, but I think it could be upwards between 50 to $100. Um, so that one was a good get. I paid $5 for that one there. Uh, I'll tell, oh look, I've, there's a couple here. Ralph Lauren, I just grabbed a Ralph Lauren polo, pretty stock standard and basic. I sell those for $20, I picked it up for five. Um, I've gone with a vintage um, Billabong polo shirt for the very first time. Uh, personally, you would never see me wearing something like this, but I just wanted to test the waters on eBay. Uh, I've only paid $3 for it, but if it goes on a sell, I'm gonna keep looking for that sort of uh, an item. And then I've also found this one, which was absolutely wicked. This was a 3XL Reebok NFL equipment Denver Broncos NFL training top, long sleeve, gray. I, had, I didn't even cop this, I grabbed it straight away. I can't remember the comps, I think it was about, sorry, I can't remember what I paid, I think it was about four bucks. Um, so I've, ha I've picked him up and I was absolutely stoked with it. If it was an extra large, I would have just worn it myself. Um, this one as well was really cool. This was the Queensland Maroons State of Origin Rugby League shorts. These were just $2 if you can believe. Uh, it's got the 4X branding on the back as well in maroon. So look, I think these exercise shorts should go on to sell for about $25 and I'll pay just two bucks for it. Um, the lady in the op shop really looked after me as well. She's given me a pair of size 32 waist Wrangler jeans and I'll talk about the Wrangler brand quite a bit. Um, this one has gone on to sell for me in the past. So I've grabbed that for another $5. In the end guys, everything that you saw right there and then was only $44. She's a lovely lady, she helps me out, she looks after me. I've been able to grab at least $350 to maybe even $400 worth of resale value on eBay in this first op shop. I have 10, <laughs> I've 10 times my investment. So a wicked start. I'm really looking forward to jumping into the next op shop because we've started really well today. Let's keep it going and fingers crossed the second op shop can be just as good. Well, I've spent about 30 to 45 minutes in this second op shop looking for some good items and I've only come away with the three, but the three I'm pretty happy with because they're gonna go on and make some good money. The first one here is the ASICS GT 2000 women's running shoe, US nine and a half. This is in very, very good condition. And I will say that I do look for condition and quality of shoe before I pick them up because it is such a crucial aspect when you're buying shoes. Yes, they're $5. But if the sole is breaking away from the top fabric, you're not gonna get any money for it. And if the soles are super worn, you're not gonna get any money for it either. So that's probably the two key uh, things that I look for. I also look for tears as well in this synthetic fabric as well, because you can sometimes get that when you've worn shoes for a very long period of time. Not the case for any of those points with this pair of shoe. Um, this one was a really good one. I'm gonna turn it into 60 bucks on eBay very, very fast. And two other things as well with some polo shirts that I found. The first one for $7, was the RM Williams green uh, stock standard uh, polo shirt. That turns into $20 plus postage 
pretty quickly. So it's not a massive profit margin. It's not, not a massive profit, but I still like to pick them up because they're a bit of an essential that I always put into the store. The other one as well is a bit of an essential is this Tommy Hilfiger polo shirt. Now this one, again, a really nice authentic uh, polo shirt, Tommy Hilfiger brand, uh, size large, $7. Uh, try and turn it into 20 bucks. Look, it's only $13 worth of profit. You gotta take some fees out of that as well. So you might be looking at $10 worth of profit each, but I do always like to pick those up when they're below sort of $8. I'll definitely go and pick those up. So RM Williams, Tommy Hilfiger, two very good brands, stock standard winners, bread and butter items. Um, so I've grabbed those. And then these are gonna be worth 60 bucks. So we're looking at about $80 worth of resale value there out of that one. So I'm talking about $500 so far today. So it's been a ripping start, two op shops down. Let's keep charging. Op shop number three, I want a few more items. My goodness, guys, this day is just getting better and better. I can't believe what we've been able to pick up here in op shop number three. Let's dive into the items. I've been able to find this Adidas pair of running shoes. Now, they are genuine. There's nothing fake about these. They go retail for about $260 to $270, and they're a size US 7, so I would like them to be a little bit bigger, but I've only paid $10 for them, and I really do think they're gonna go upwards of maybe 60 to 70 bucks. There's a stack of comps for this brand and make on eBay, so I'm wrapped to find these. The black and white color will also help me as well. Well, I've been able to find a really cool pair of Nike Roshis as well. Now, these are all red, obviously, as you can see. Uh, the soles are very good. I've only paid $7 for these shoes. So they're gonna go on to sell for a hell of a lot more than that. I'm thinking maybe 45 to 50 bucks. It's generally what I do with my shoes. So I'll be picking those up for eBay for sure. And then I've also found these as well, um, the Patagonia. I found the Patagonia down jacket, guys, beige, men's large. This thing goes for upwards of $150 in used condition on eBay, and I've paid a grand total of $15 in the thrift. This is the stuff that you look for. My eyes are peeled for this sort of stuff every single time I go in. And I've done about 30 of these trips to the thrifts, and this is the first time that I can actually bring you one of these sort of items. So I am over the moon finding Patagonia for the very first time in the thrift. But then as soon as I pull back the Patagonia piece, I found a North Face piece as well. So this was a really cool men's large, uh, just a long sleeve uh, sweater and uh, authentic North Face. So I'm gonna do the comps, but I think this one's gonna be at least 35 bucks. So when you add that onto the Patagonia at 150, we're talking about 185 worth of clothing. I thought the job was done. And then sure enough, one more piece, third piece lucky. Ralph Lauren 100% wool long sleeve men's zip up jumper. This thing is an absolute masterpiece. I'm gonna think upwards of $100 for this guy and I have paid a little bit for him, $19 in the thrift. But 
Well, I just think with this being in literally like new condition and 100% wool, I'm gonna be able to get somewhere between 80 to $100. The Ralph Lauren brand, I believe, will stand up for me. So guys, I'm absolutely thrilled here. We've got three ripping pieces of clothing. We're talking about, I don't know, maybe $300 worth of clothes right there. And they are all in like new condition, men's size large. How can you go wrong? I thought it was all over. And then I also found only Fools and Horses DVD set every single episode of this TV show, which is a popular one. If it was in its box, it would be about $80 to $100. I don't have it in the box. They are just all the individual DVDs. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower, maybe $50 to $60. I've paid just a dollar each for these. And there are 10 of them. I've got seasons one to seven, plus I've got a couple of extra seasons as well. Seasons two, three, and four, which is only gonna start my next series when I go to bundle that up and sell that as well. So I've got seasons one to seven, plus a few extras, a $10 spend there. But really guys, while the shoes were pretty good, it was all the clothing in that one there. Finally, some Patagonia, some North Face, um, just at Ralph Lauren obviously as well, just a huge get. We've absolutely won the day with op shop number three. Can op shop number four get even better? Because this is what will be absolutely my best to trip to the thrift if we can get a better haul than that to end it. So let's keep charging. I'm feeling very, very good about things so far. Hope you're enjoying the episode. Let's keep charging. Guys, it was always going to be hard to beat op shop number three, but I am still pretty happy with the way we've been able to finish off the day. I'll start off with the men's cycling shoes. Now, this brand here is Northwave. Personally, I haven't seen this brand before, but I did some comps and they actually go on to sell pretty well on eBay, around 60 to 70 bucks. So I bought these for just $10. What I am really surprised by lately is just how quick these shoes go on to sell on eBay. So really stoked to get these, $10 spend. They should go on to make me 50 bucks pretty quickly. Uh, I also found the Bandit 3 Under Armour men's running shoes. Now, these are in really good condition. I'm going to give that a bit of a clean there. The soles are in great nick, and there's an $8 tag on these shoes. So, a huge get. I'm going to go on to sell these for 50 bucks, like I do with all my shoes. They are a US size 10 as well in the men's shoes. So, stoked with that little grab there. Another couple of shoes, which was awesome. And then just a couple of essentials as well. I really like buying men's golf polo shirts. They just hold the test of time. Uh, they never get damaged. They're never in any any bad condition. I paid just $6 for this one and I thought this one was just a really nice piece. So I've nicked him off the shelf for a couple of bucks and he'll make me a few. I'm gonna try and sell him for 20. I'll go 20 plus postage. And then the last one as well, which I'm gonna do the exact same for, is a pair of Rusty shorts. Now don't mind the brand Rusty. These are in just good condition. It was a size 34 waist and there was a $5 tag on it. So look, I thought why not? Let's just put that into the store as well and try and make a few dollars. Um, so it was just the four items there. The shoes were obviously the best of the day in that regard for that op shop run. But uh, we're all done, guys. I've done my four op shops. All in all, it was probably one of the better thrift days in the sense of the resale value for eBay. I reckon there's probably about 850 bucks worth of eBay listings when I go home and put it all into the spreadsheet and then finally onto eBay. So look, it just goes to show guys, three hours in the thrift, you can do some amazing things if you just put a bit of time, work, attention and effort into it. I absolutely love doing this. I absolutely love cutting up these videos, making these short, sharp 20 minute clips of what goes on to sell well. And I hope that you do enjoy these videos. Let me know by uh, letting you know in the comments uh, and also too, um, follow me on Instagram because I'm putting out a bit of content there as well. So that'll do me today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the show today. We'll catch you in the next one. It'll be a what sold video on Sunday. I really do. I truly do appreciate you tuning into these videos and I can't wait to see you in the next. We'll see you soon. Thanks guys.